Quick question, should white supremacists be teachers? Since the answer is no, you might wonder how this white supremacist fell through the cracks. This is Diana Volatich, a 25-year-old Florida public school teacher with a white nationalist podcast. Thanks to our friends at HuffPost, Volatich's racist cover has been blown. Sorry, not sorry. On her podcast, Unapologetic, Volatich pushes a racist agenda under the name Tiana Dolikoff. So many other researchers have already looked into this, and that's just the way it is. There are, there are races that have higher IQs than, than others. She tweeted positive pictures of David Duke, anti-Muslim tweets, and tweets claiming that white supremacy and institutional racism don't exist. And this undercover white supremacist was teaching our children. Parents even complained to the principal about Volatich's injection of biased political commentary into her lessons, but she claimed it wasn't true. And the principal was like, okay. After news of this racist podcast broke, Volatich was removed from the classroom and the school district is investigating her case. Tiana Dolikov, uh, Diana Volatich, whatever your name is, you're a bigot. We get it. But the thing is, if you're an undercover white supremacist who's being paid by taxpayers' dollars, you gotta be smart about it, honey. Why would you out yourself as a teacher who has infiltrated the system on your podcast? Why would you post pictures of yourself, period? Let alone post pictures wearing the same earrings in your profile picture as you did in your class picture, which is on your school's website. I mean, come on, get one of those Peppy the Frog avatars or something. Did you think you'd get away with being a scheming racist? Reporters at the HuffPost were like, Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> this is yet another example of a white supremacist throwing stones but hiding hands. Twitter fingers are popping, but once the racists are called out, they're like, Who, me? And now Volatich says she's not a white supremacist and claims that the whole thing was satire and humbly asks for forgiveness. Sounds like you're being apologetic there, Volatich. This is what you'd call white tears. And the only thing worse than a white supremacist is a punk ass white supremacist. Deanna Volatich, that'd be you. So how about next time our public schools do a better job of vetting teachers? How about that? What's up, I'm PJ with The Root. We wanna bring you more series and videos like this, and we need your help. Let us know what you thought below and subscribe to our channel on YouTube.